So now let's work around with the skin editor inside of Adobe Captivate. So to access skin editor, you have to go to project right over here and then there's an option called skin editor. So on the skin editor, you can see that you see the skin that you chose. So you can choose another skin as per your liking right over here and the entire thing actually changes out. So let's say, for example, I want to choose cool blue, then the skin changes out along with table of content, as you can see. So table of content is right here. So it's the same window as uh, well, what you access in table of contents. So the uh, the title is skin editor. So over here, you can see that there's the playback controls over here is the borders. So you work around with them accordingly. So over here, you can see that there, you can show the playback control. So if you want to hide the playback control altogether, then you can just disable this out. So users will have to go through each and every slide uh, without seeing the slider at all. However, if you want to show them, then you click on show playback controls, which is on by default as well. You can also hide play bar during quiz, which is a great option to have so that the uh, users, they do not skip out quizzes. There's also play bar overlay over here, as you can see. So the play bar actually covers up, giving more area for the user to work with. So this is something you can work as well. You can also show the play bar in hover. So what happens is that whenever the, uh, whenever the user hovers around the play bar, it actually pops up. That's like play bar options. So you can work around with different play bars as well. So you can individually change the skin of the play bar only as well, for example, like this. So if you want to compare and let's say, for example, have a different play bar, you can do that as well. So play bar can have two rows, as you can see over here as well. So there's settings right over here. There's like play right over here so that there's play pause on the top and bottom as well, just like that. So there's play bar colors. As you can see, you can change out the play bar colors over here. So it's very, very customizable. You can change the color up the buttons and so forth, as you can see. Also the button face, you can change this, these out. You can also change out the background, but that does not look very great. So I'm just going to disable this out to get back to the default. You can change the position of the play bar as well. So there's the, on the bottom, you can keep it on the left, right over here. It does not look good. Uh, you can keep it on the right as well or on the top, but usually by default, uh, it's on the bottom. So suggest you to keep it on the bottom or top because that is what many people are used to. But if you want to keep it, otherwise you can do that as well. So layout is stressed. You can also do bottom center as you can see. So it is not stressed out as well. So if you want only a tiny bit of play bar, you can do that as well. So over here, there's play, rewind and everything else which is available. So you can fast forward as well. If you want to disable some of these, let's say, for example, you want to disable uh, everything else right over here. So you just want to enable, let's say, for example, play, then you can enable only that one out as well. The other option that you can work with the play bar is the alpha, as you can see over here. So you can make it a bit transparent to work with as well. So depending on what you want, you can do that as well. You can also disable no tooltips. So there's like pop-ups tooltips. You don't want that, then you can click on no tooltips at runtime. And these are the options that Skin Editor provides you for the playback control. The other one is border, as you can see. So you can show up the border as well. So you can see that there's border over here now, and you can change out the color of the borders as well. For example, let's say, for example, you want this type of a border to give it a bit of a visual uh, feel, feel right over here. You can do that as well. So let's say, for example, I'm just going to use this border right over here. There's like HTML background that you can use as well. So if you were to see the background, then you'll be able to work around with that as well. You can also add in textures if you want to. For example, you can go over here and keep in different textures according to what you like right over here. So you can see that there's different textures that you can choose from. So you can choose the ones you like and that will be applied over there as well. So that is something you can do. There's like style, like if there's like rounded corners, which is the type of the skin right over here, or you can do it square according to what you want, just like that. You can also change the width right over here, so you can really make it large right over here, or you can make it small right over here, just like that. You can keep the border on to the left, on the top, on the right as well. So you can choose where you want to keep the borders from over here. So if you were to increase this out, you can see that there's the border right over here on the left, top, bottom, and right. So these are the skin changes that we actually did, as you can see right over here. So once you're happy, we can just close this out because it's saved out and then you can preview the project out right over here. 
So you'll be able to see all of the changes. You see the border right over here, as you can see, and you see the skin changes over here as well. There's the play bar on the top. You can work around with the play bar. There's the content and the entire look of the, uh, of the, um, like the objective, as you can see, has changed out over there. Once you have changed the skin um, settings for this particular project. So that is how you can work around with the skin editor inside of Adobe Captivate. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.